Welcome to Conversations Live. For more than a decade, we've brought you the best in books, entertainment, celebrity interviews, and current events. When the movers and shakers of the world have something to say to you, they say it to us first. Now celebrating 17 years of broadcasting success, here's your host, Cyrus Webb. And welcome back, everyone, to Conversations Live. I'm your host, Cyrus Webb. Glad you all could join us once again, both for our radio audience and those tuning in online. We've already been talking about, as we're beginning 2021, that the pandemic has definitely caused unprecedented economic disruption, I think, no matter where we might be living. In conjunction with the annual State of American Business Program, the U.S. Chamber of Commerce normally has, they have released a new economic report on the outlook for and challenging facing these key industries around the country, including in my home state of Mississippi. Uh, here to talk to us about that, we're excited to welcome back Neil Bradley. Neil is the Executive VP and Chief Policy Officer for the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. Neil, thank you so much for the time. I really appreciate it. Cyrus, it's great to be with you again. Happy New Year. It's same to you, Neil. I had a chance to visit uschamber.com. We're going to remind our audience to do that, to see some of the, the information that you guys were able to share. But can you tell us about the results of the new economic report, Neil, and, and what it says about business outlook as we're kind of going through this recovery this year? Yes, yeah, yeah, Cyrus. We're, what we did was we surveyed 37 different industries, and we asked them, how are you doing today relative to pre-pandemic a year ago? Uh, and what we learned is half of those 37 industries – have recovered. They are doing as well or better today than they were a year ago. Of course, the other side of that story means that half the industries are doing worse, and in some instances, much worse. And, you know, we see that in our own communities. You know, uh, in in Mississippi, one-fifth of the jobs that have been lost since last February are in the leisure and hospitality industries. And frankly, Mississippi is actually doing a little bit better than the rest of the nation, where nearly 40% of the job losses have come from leisure and hospitality. So we know the key to recovery in 2021 is really helping those industries that continue to suffer to get back on their feet and to help those uh, individuals who've been displaced, uh, who no longer have the job to go, to go back to, to help them get jobs in the sectors that are growing. And if we do those things and a few other policies, we're really bullish on the outlook for 2020. Well, that's great news to hear about my home state of Mississippi, and 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 definitely you know no, notice there is some improvement that's there. Neil, I want to ask you about what what local businesses can do though, not only in, in my home state of Mississippi, but around the country. What can they do to kind of rally for the recovery that we're seeing to be able to see it continue throughout this year? Yeah, so you know one of the things is what we can all do personally, right? You know, it really is important uh, to shop local. There's a lot of uh, uh, restaurants and uh, local retailers who are, have diversified. They're providing delivery and online services. We really need to help support those local businesses today. We also have to beat this pandemic, right? The key to fully reopening is vaccinations and beating this pandemic, and we can all do our part in that regard. And of course, you know, until we get to that point, it's important that small businesses who are suffering have access uh, to the tools that Congress has provided. They did finally get that pandemic relief bill passed right before the end of the year. There's a lot of programs that are available for small businesses. We've chronicled those at uschamber.com. We have resources and guides to help small businesses figure out what's out there for them to help get them uh, to the other side of this pandemic. Well, no, you always keep us informed. Again, uschamber.com is where our audience can go for more of these updates and information about the state of American business. Neil, thank you so much again for the time. Really appreciate it, and you're welcome back here anytime. Thank you, Cyrus. Uh, good to be with you, and, and thanks for taking the time. Uh, the pleasure is definitely all mine, and we thank your audience for tuning in to another great segment of Conversations Live. Until next time, I'm your host, Cyrus Webb, saying, as always, enjoy your day, enjoy your life, enjoy your world. Thank you all for choosing Conversations Live. Now let's go make today amazing. Take care.